May we all stand. We begin this holy sacrifice at the Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the celebration of the Holy Mass here at the Basilica Minore of Our Lady of Piat. We are so glad that you have come from all over Cagayan, all over the region, or northern Luzon, to come and pay your love and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who we call Our Lady of Piat. And as we also are in the eighth day of uh, Novena in her honor. 
Today also is the 13th Sunday in ordinary time. We continue to reflect on the Lord's goodness in our lives, especially the grace and the gift of healing, which we all aspire for and beg Him so that we may have wellness, not only in body but also in mind and spirit. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we once again call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen.
してとか。Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. God wills life, not death. By the entry of the devil, death entered the world, that this would be undone by faith in Jesus. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome, and there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth, for justice is undying. For God formed man to be imperishable, the image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear. And did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever I will give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Paul appears to the Corinthians that since God in Christ has been generous with his gifts of life, so they too must share their resources with their needy brothers and sisters. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you. May you excel in this gracious act also. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Not that others should have relief while you are burdened, but that as a matter of equality, your abundance at the present time should supply their needs so that their abundance may also supply your needs. 
that there may be equality. As it is written, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus has crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her that she might get well and leave. He went off with him and a large crowd followed him and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus was at once the power, aware that that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? But the disciples said to Jesus, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet you ask, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside, except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? 
the child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him. And he entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitakum, which means, Little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and went around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know about this. And she said, he said that he should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There are two ways, brothers and sisters, which our Lord Jesus proclaims the kingdom of God. And these two ways are by word and by deed. By word, by his preaching, by beatitudes, by uh, parables, okay? by teaching in the synagogue. No? He preached the kingdom of God by word and by deeds. By deeds meaning performing miracles for the people. Giving bread to the hungry, miracles of multiplication. Last Sunday, miracle of calming the storm, healing, raising the dead to life. Okay? These are ways in which Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of God by deed. And one of these brothers and sisters is our gospel today. The healing of the woman who have been sick of hemorrhage for 12 years and raising the daughter of Jairus a synagogue official to life. You see, brothers and sisters, in these two episodes of healing, the greatness of God in Jesus has been revealed. It gives us an understanding that Jesus heals. It gives us an understanding that Jesus raises the dead to life. It gives us that understanding that Jesus wills our well-being, our cure, our healing, and He wills that all of us be raised to life. And that raising to life, brothers and sisters, ultimately can we experience or we can experience that at the resurrection. And it's our profession of faith that we say, I believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Jesus is the Lord of life and that we should only have faith in Him, to believe in Him, that we may have this life in us forever and ever. So you see in the Gospel, Jairus must have heard about Jesus. Jairus, a synagogue official. So he was a Jew. He occupies a, highest, a higher position or a high position in the Jewish circle. Yet he came to Jesus. He knelt in front of him in humility. In humility. Imagine a synagogue official, a high-ranking official kneeling before Jesus in humility because he asked a favor from the Lord. He must have heard many things about Jesus. And that he pleaded the Lord to let Jesus heal her daughter who was at the point of death. Jesus, knowing the humility of Jairus, acceded to his request. But on their way together with the disciples to the house of Jairus, Isang babae naman ang may sakit na hemorrhages, no? Yung um, dinudugo itong babaeng ito, no? Agdardara, detoy babae na ito. Nakita na ni Jesus, she saw the Lord, no? Kaya't kinunana, no, uh, ikabil ko lang iti imak, iti bado na, kaya't aglaingak, kunana, ha? 
If only I touch the hem of his clothing, I shall get love. And truly, when he touched the cloth of Jesus, she got well immediately. And Jesus, brothers and sisters, realizing na mwani apo nga great power has gone out from him. Kaya't kung na na sino iti si Manggir iti Badok. The woman approached Jesus. Lumapit sa Panginoon. At sinabi siya. Yung um, humawak. No? Siya, hinawakan niya. Yung uh, damit ng ating Panginoon. Sabi ng ating Panginoon, Your faith has saved you. Your faith has saved you. No? So gumaling itong babaeng ito. Ha? O, habang umalis na ang ating Panginoon, palapit na dun sa bahay, ni Jairus, ha, yung synagogue official, sinabihan siya, patay na yung anak mo. Uh, why bother the teacher father? The daughter, your daughter is dead. But Jesus said, she is not dead, she is asleep. Have faith, sabi niya kay Jairus. So pumunta siya sa bahay at dun sa kwarto kung saan yung bata na 12 years old, ay uh, nakahiga, nakalatag doon. Ha? Sabi ni Jesus, Little girl, get up. Talitakum, little girl, get up. At bungangon nga yung bata. No? And Jesus gave to her parents. Okay? To her parents. So these two healing, stories of healing. The woman was healed of her hemorrhages. The girl was raised to life. Reminds us, brothers and sisters, that only Jesus can heal totally, provided we have faith in Him. Okay? So you see here, first and foremost, the woman touched Jesus. Dato yung amin umayte dito kaya tam, numabalbalin ko maket unta yung asanggiren ni apu baket. We may not totally touch her cloth, her mantle. Tanang hato, taday ta ti rason mi kakabsak e take you side. Ta uray day to i pagtungtungan na laeng. No, may gaman yu day ta kakabsak in faith. No, the Blessed Virgin Mary will answer your prayers. You ask in faith that awan ko may ti duda ta yu kakabsak. Wala sa nang pagdududa kung magdadasal tayo, ha? Kung hindi natin makuha yung dinadasal natin sa ngayon, malay nyo bukas, malay nyo the next day, malay nyo the next week, malay nyo the next month. O kung hindi man kung ano yung hinihingi natin, kung ano yung alam ng Panginoon na kailangan natin, yun ang ibibigay. Kaya huwag tayong mabahala at huwag natin sabihin hindi naman binigay ng Panginoon yung hiningi ko. Let us think and reflect. Baka there are many graces that we have received that we did not ask. Because sa Panginoon, alam niya na yun ang kailangan natin. Kaya lating natin sinasabi, count your blessings. Count your blessings. At baka magdasal tayo, hingin natin sa Panginoon ito, bahala ng Panginoon kung ano ang ibibigay sa atin. Because siya ang nakakaalam kung ano ang kailangan natin sa ating buhay. Okay? So you see here, brothers and sisters, in the healing, the woman touched Jesus when Jesus raised a dead girl to life. He touched the girl. That tells us now, brothers and sisters, in our second reflection, that if only when we reach out to God, Let us allow God to touch us, and let us allow ourselves to touch God. Sana mahawakan natin ang ating Panginoon. There are so many ways in touching the Lord. Hindi lang ito yung physical touch, but it is a symbolic touch. Okay? Hindi lang ito literal touch na siya sabi natin, no? But other touches that you want to experience with the Lord. No? Kung alimbawa, naawa tayo sa isang beggar, 
we are being touched by the Lord. Hindi lahat na awa sa mga mahihirap at sa mga dukha. If na awa tayo, we are being touched by the Lord. And if we respond to the needs of our brothers and sisters, especially the less fortunate, we are being touched by God. If only brothers and sisters, all the hand that reach out could touch. Kung sana lahat ng kamay na nag-reach out, ah, ay ito ay to touch us, it is in this way that we experience compassion. It is in this way that we experience love. It is in this way that we experience mercy. It is in this way that we experience God in our lives. And thirdly, brothers and sisters, it is the will of Jesus that all of us should be alive. In our first reading, the book of wisdom talks about death. That death is envious of God because the God that we worship is the God of the living and not of the dead. Siguro sasabihin niya, paano yan, Father, na mamatay naman tayo? But that is not the life that Jesus is telling us. It is the life in the kingdom of heaven wherein the power of death can no longer be possible. No much the power of death in the kingdom of heaven. So let us continue to have life in us. And we can only have that life when we touch Jesus, when Jesus touches us. No? Tayo lahat, alam natin, marami tayong suliranin, marami tayong problema, no maminsan kakapsakit, awan gan ganas sa yung agbiagen. Kagyatam, out to ganas ko nga matolay nga na. Kung no lamang nga na patolay ko, napakaro nga problema, one problem, one another, very heavy, the burden, all these things that I encounter, I do not want to live anymore. Let us always think of God. Let us always think that no matter what kind of life we experience, let us always believe that God gives us life. Alam nyo, ang taong punong-puno ng pag-asa ay ang taong punong-puno ng buhay. Ha? Let it be that God is our hope. Yun ang ginawa nung, nung babae. No? Very hopeful siya na kapag uh, ilalagay ko lang yung aking kamay sa kanyang damit, gagaling ako. Very hopeful. And where is that hope coming from? It came from her faith. It came from her faith. Kaya tayong lahat na may pananampalataya, kailangan meron tayong palaging pag-asa. No? Pag-asa na mabuhay. Pag-asa na buhay na buhay tayo sa ating buhay. Dahil ang ating Panginoon ay nasa atin. Your faith has saved you. So, brothers and sisters, let us thank God for this faith. Let us thank God for giving us this faith through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Piat, and let us continue to manifest this faith in our lives. God bless us all. Let us all stand to profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son and Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He, he descended into death. On the, on the third, third day, he rose again. again from the dead. He, he ascended sorry. into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may receive healing in mind, body, and soul and become instruments of healing to one another. Let us pray, Lord of life, hear our prayer. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May the church, the people of God, 
continue crisis healing work by caring for all those who are sick, depressed, the abandoned, and the elderly. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May doctors and nurses, social workers, and all those who care for the sick, the suffering, the poor, and the oppressed, do their job with patience, skill, and mercy. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. May all who mourn the passing their loved ones be comforted by their faith in the risen Lord has brought us life that can never be taken away. We pray. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Heavenly Father, listen to our humble petition. Help us have more faith in Jesus' healing power, your love for us, and for all humanity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Those who have an uh, envelope, please join the offertory procession. Yung mga may envelopes po, join the offertory procession. Resistant. Brethren, that is our sacrifice may become pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O oh God, who graciously accomplish our thanks of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. To say right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs your boundless glory, 
that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our public guard, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit the recourse to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious and peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Please kneel. Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Please stand. May this divine sacrifice we pray we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Please kneel. Prayer for the sick. Loving Father, we pray for the healing touch of your spirit to our brothers and sisters who are not suffering from illness, disease. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them so that they bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and be consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering so that they may be able to offer and unite their sufferings to that of Jesus Christ our Lord, to the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Piat. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, mercy. hear our, our life, our sickness, and our hope. Do you be required for one children of Eve? Do you send our swans one when you leave its valley of tears? Term the most sanctificator as a mercy towards us. And after the sun shine through our rest in the blood of your young Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, o Holy Mother of God, that we may do the work of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepare the body and soul of Mary, the glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of thy Son. Grant that by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, you may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God be with you, your family, and all your loved ones. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Father. Have a blessed Sunday, Tommy.